I'm going to play a little audio from a sales call because I can teach you by words, but I have to say that people listen to this and go sell $50,000 worth of stuff. So it's real audio. It'll crackle a little. My husband's like, what the heck were you tapping the whole time while you're talking on there? But I want you to hear it so you can take it in, and then I'm going to explain some pieces of it. So this is me on a sales call. Hi. Hi. Katie, this is Lindsay Wilson. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You sound excited. I am. I, what are you excited about? <laughs> oh, I'm in Maui right now. <laughs> what did you say? I couldn't even hear it. So that's me snorting, right? And I want to welcome you to the highest end of sales. Because people think that what it's about is big money, right? And I've sold out of a $130,000 coaching program with cold leads from Facebook ads, right? My average sale at the moment for years on end, like three years on end, is $36,000. Right now, as I mentioned yesterday, there's a 20-minute video of me just sitting and talking. People get on the phone. 20 people have converted into a year-long program. 16 of them had never heard of me prior to that, right? All $36,000. So high-end sales can be high prices, but the real truth about it that I want you all to hold on to, especially watch for resistance when I talk today. Whatever you go no freaking way to, you want to write it down, put a big star beside it, and get coaching around it, because it's bullshit. And I have a three and a four year old, and I don't curse often, and I'm not crying again. But if I'm cursing, I'm serious. So the highest end of sales, to be completely clear, is truth. I'm going to show you today to be so completely truthful in a way you have never imagined before. And people buy truth. Truth wins. Don't we know that? Right? Light is stronger than darkness, and we don't want to be manipulative. If you put... The week I sold almost a million a week, I have such sweet healers. They said, you know, Lindsay, we don't know anybody else who can do that. I don't think we could put anybody else that we know in a room with you that could sell more than that. And I got to tell you, that could be true or not. I actually don't even care. Like, I hope you sell more than I do with this information that I'm giving you today. But what I do know is that truth wins. High in sales is intimacy like probably most of the world, I'm actually mainly an introvert, right? Like me snorting on the phone to a complete stranger is intentional because I want to transform their lives. I don't care if they buy, I do care if they transform. And high-end sales for all of us, who values integrity here? Like who is that a seriously important value? Yeah, like of course, obviously. That's what sales is. My sweet mother, who's so smart, said to me, you tell them that sales is love, and you say that a bunch of times, right? And sweet Jody, who's here with me too, she said, when they think they can't sell, that's what's gonna be in their head, and they're gonna go, ooh, I can't skip out on it, because sales actually is love. So you just keep coming back to that, because it's the truth. The, the best moment, I'm gonna tell you the changing moment, and then we're gonna break it down. after selling everything for 20 years, right? Like, and I'll say phone a lot because I stay home with my children. I, it's amazing that you got me in shoes for five minutes to walk up here, right? <laughs> like, I'm in flip-flops with babies. This works, you can meet somebody in the hall and you can sell with this. You can do it at a networking event. You can do it from the stage. So when I say call, just know that it works in, in any frame at all. I was on the phone with someone one day after I had sold all that stuff in a week, and they said to me, I've never shared this story. They didn't say it, but the words I heard were, you're not happy. You've amassed all of this money, right? And I had sold things that I didn't really want to sell. It was a business model. I love the stuff Ajit talks about, right? The worst thing in the world, the biggest shackle in the world is to build a business with a model that you don't love. It's like what Vishen said the first day, right? That you gotta be happy. So I had learned to sell a huge amount of money and I had two babies and I had no idea how I would pay for two college educations. So I felt like amassing a huge amount of money was the right thing. I was set free the moment somebody was honest with me on a sales call and said, it's not gonna work, right? Like you've built all this done for you stuff and you don't wanna do it, it's gonna take too much time. So that I think the best part of today 
just the part of the process that we call intervention, and I'm going to show you a piece that I don't, I don't know anybody else who talks about it. But what I do know is that finally in my sales ability, I found a way to be truthful. Truth was what I cared about. And so all of a sudden, rather than being like a carpenter who learned carpentry and can sell things, and like puts on a, the things I've worn while I've sold, right, like tartan plaid ties and suits and jackets and all of those things, were not me. I had a skill, right? But what I loved was truth. And so the beauty of what we're going to learn today is that it's possible to be in goodness, right? To be completely honest and to sell really well.